Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Saishram Malyala. So in this particular video, I'm going to give you all the details regarding CSAB. This is one of the most requested video for many of the students. That is the reason I'm going to make this video. So make sure you share with all your friends who are participating in JOSA and CSAB counseling of 2021. So first of all, what is CSAB? CSAB is Central Seat Allocation Board 2021. So this is under the supervision of MNIT Jaipur, Malaviya National Institute of Technology, Jaipur. So why it is conducted? CSAP 2021 is conducted just to fill the vacant seats after JOSA counselling. So whatever seats are left after JOSA 6 rounds of counselling, those seats are filled using this particular process which is called as CSAB Central Seat Allocation Board. And guys, first of all, thank you for uh, making my mentorship successful for JOSA. So same like that for CSAB also, I am going to launch the mentorship and details will be given to you soon before the uh, registration starts for uh, CSAB so let me just show you the schedule of uh, CSAB so if you just see the screen here so display of vacancies of for JOSA, JOSA rounds after six rounds of JOSA whatever seats are left that particular uh, vacancies will be given to you tomorrow that is 27 November Saturday so registration starts from 28 November so after that till 30 28 to 30 you have to register so once registration is done 2nd December you will be getting the results so same like JOSA so after registration you need to fill the choices so that is how it is but here you need to pay the fees in the first hand itself after seat you need to pay after getting seat allotment you need to pay in josa but here in csab before only you need to pay the fees so regarding the fee details i will be talking as we move forward in this video so special round one allotment will be on 2nd december and the second to fourth those are all formalities you all know and special round two i mean display will be on 7th 7th December, ACE UCL for JE and stand a chance to meet and get inspired by Sachin Tendulkar. Final stage exam on November 28th, 1 pm onwards. So, these are all the prizes, cash prizes, and uh, scholarships you are going to get based on the rank which you are going to get on this test, which is on 28th November. And uh, these are some lucky prizes. Lucky draw will be taken for all the participants who are going to enroll for this test and giving this test on no November 28th. So, you can just also luck test your luck through this test. And uh, an academy IDJE combat is once again back. This exam is on 28th November 11 am for class 11. 12 and droppers 21 questions 60 minutes you can win 4 cold press worth scholarship and 500 lucky participants will get surprise gifts what are you guys waiting for enroll now using the link and code charan so daily practice paper for je mains and advance one of the greatest initiative by an academy so to make je preparation easy so you'll get daily practice questions to prepare for je and competitive with learner on daily basis match your score with toppers to check your preparation top three winners every day will get amazon voucher gift worth 500 rupees so every monday to thursday you'll be having at 6 30 pm every day i mean enroll now now comes to the process so first thing will be after registration you need to pay the fees how much you need to pay the fees so i will show you the fees here so candidate who did not register on josa portal so you are the first time you are participating in the counseling so for general general ews obc and cell 37000 sc st pwd 17000 candidate registered in josa portal but did not get a seat also this is the amount allotted a seat by josa but did not pay any seat acceptance fee so those also pay those also should pay this, this much amount who have opted for exit option so who have opted for exit option in josa they should also pay this amount earlier seat allotted in iit so those should they should also pay this amount so these are our first case now come to second case so who have secured admission in allotted seat after josa and but and paid the admission fee of 40000 and 20000 so according to that you have completed you have secured your josa seat those should pay 2000 2000 each so this is not in the refundable 2000 is not refundable so candidate who have withdrawn or seat cancelled in the josa after document verification in josa without change in their category and already paid seat acceptance fee so they should also pay 2000 2000 so this particular candidates who are paying like this so once they get new seat here in this CSAP, they need to pay a seat acceptance fee once more so that amount they will be showing i will be showing you for all those candidates whose category got changed due to document verification after document verification josa so they need to pay according to this box please once check the box uh, i will be leaving this pdf link in the description you can check out that so now let me just show you then after paying the fees online choice filling and choice locking for special rounds i think most of you already know how what to do so after step four is seat allotment according to the schedule then uh, once it is allotted you will be having five options freeze slide float and uh, surrender and participate in special round surrendered and not participate in special round two so in josa you will be having only three options Fro freeze 
float and slide that's it here two more surrender and participate in next round surrender the seat and don't participate in the next round these are the five options which will be available once you got the seat allotment so if you didn't get seat allotment you have to wait for the second round automatically it will be in the float so after that you need to upload the documents and then comes to payment of special round seat acceptance fee so those who already paid parcel admission fee and seat acceptance fee during josa they need not to pay any amount now only few people those who got newly allotted and those who seat cancelled there and uh, participating newly here so some special class cases are there so uh, previously i said right i will be showing you about the seat acceptance fee in this particular round so those people must pay this amount so those who already paid partial admission fee and seat acceptance fee during the josa they need not to pay any amount if the new seat is allotted to you in csap so if you see type of candidate candidate who has been allotted seat for the first time so should pay 38000 general general ws obc and sc st should pay 18000 okay so was allotted a seat in josa 2021 but did not pay parcel admission fee so you just paid he or she just paid seat acceptance fee and they did not pay parcel admission fee means they did not secured any seat there in that case also 38000 and 18000 respectively and candidate who has secured admission so there he paid the parcel admission fee and he participated in csa so those candidates need not to pay any amount nil nil okay got it so only those who got newly allotted and those who uh, paid seat acceptance fee but not paid the parcel admission fee those candidates should pay this this much amount so all these amount which you pay in whichever seat you are going to uh, like i mean get admission or you are going to get admitted after all the two rounds special rounds that whole amount will be transferred to that college only okay now after that step 8 online reporting after special round seat allotment online reporting okay that uh, you can do of course and reporting at the allotted institute so after completion of special rounds 1 and 2 candidates who have confirmed allotted seats are required to report at the allotted institute for admission as per the schedule given on csap 2021 website as per the instructions available on allotted institute website you have to visit the allotted institute website and complete all the procedure they asked you to and the refund of participation and seat acceptance fee so let me just uh, give you a brief idea about refunds so if candidate withdraw the seat allotted in josa seat as per the schedule given on csap 2021 so they will uh, take 2000 as a transaction and deducting and remaining amount will be refunded and if no seat is allotted for the first candidate 2000 is taken out and taken from him and remaining amount will be deducted and uh, he if if no, no seat is allotted for first candidate in special round 1 and candidate does not participate in special round 2 same 2000 and remaining amount will be given to the student if a fresh candidate gets seat but he surrenders it so he got a seat in special round 1 but does not pay he didn't pay i mean uh, seat acceptance fee so that amount will be refunded taking 6000 as a transaction charges so if a candidate gets a seat allotted in special round 1 retains the seat secured in josa and opts for surrender and participate so he has josa seat he got new seat in special round 1 so he don't, don't like he don't want that seat and he is like he wanted to participate in the second round so his amount will be deducted 6000 rupees and remaining amount will be given back to him so if a candidate got seat in special round 1 new new seat i mean he already has josa seat a update has happened and he don't want to participate in the next round and he also wanted to surrender the present seat in that case 6000 amount will be deducted and remaining amount will be given so he who has allotted in the special round 1 his or get seat cancelled due to ineligibility or uh, inappropriate document for so after getting seat if there is a mistake in from your side either without paying the fees or either any mistake in the documents in that case 6000 amount will be deducted and the remaining amount will be given back to you so that is the reason during the payment they are asking you for the bank check book and uh, check cancel check or uh, and the front page of uh, passbook so after csap 2 i mean special round 2 if uh, candidate is not going to the college in which he got allotment so regarding the refund he need to contact the college directly csap is nowhere uh, related to that once seat allotted after two rounds if you are not reporting or if you have paid the fees and if you are not going to that college if you didn't complete the admission process there your admission will be anyhow cancelled the further refund you need to contact the college only and uh, that's all i guess i have given you all the information related to csab 2021 so if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind